Uh, these are your birthing years. <laughs> Why are you playing Animal Crossing? <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swears he's it's just a fact and it's totally a science. Go ahead and look it up if you want. I can't live your life for you. <laughs> Today we're jumping into r slash uh, just neckbeard things. We don't do this subreddit very often, but I've had a couple of people saying, hey, Red X, you need to go touch on it. There was some very cringy stuff being posted recently, and I think I found exactly what they were talking about because it was cross-posted to every cringe subreddit from here to Timbuktu, so I'm going to include that in this post, and of course I'm going to include some of the, uh, the old regular dirt that I dug up all by my lonesome. <laughs> And uh, rest assured that it is quite cringe. I would only bring you the finest, my friends. So let's go ahead, get this thing started. We'll get some plugs and disclaimers out of the way, and then we will dive right into some of this uh, just neckbeard things a uh, cringe. I only shower every two to three weeks, and I'm sick of being picked on for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, great title. I only shower twice a month, whether I need it or not. <laughs> uh, maybe you shouldn't be picked on. Maybe this is how we uh, get society members back in line, right? If not showering brings you joy, normally I'd say that's great, but it's obvious you're affecting other people with your decision. So, um, do better. Change it up. <laughs> And for context, I'm a 22-year-old male. I live alone and work as a cashier in Target. Oh, great. <laughs> He's interacting with the public. <laughs> uh, I haven't bathed for the better part of a month. Uh, that'll be $20. <laughs> uh, nasty. Can't even concentrate enough to count. My nose and my eyes are burning. <laughs> uh, uh, I feel like I don't need to shower often. <laughs> I don't see the need for it. And it's a huge waste of water. Oh yeah, think of the water for sure. <laughs> there he is. There's a guy that doesn't open up his ass cheeks in the shower to let the water in. Uh, any excuse, let me ask you this. Do you flush the toilet every time you go to the bathroom? I bet he's a sink pisser, isn't he? <laughs> he pees in the sink and just quotes it as like, Yeah, I'm saving water. <laughs> uh, good God. I've been told a few times that I smell bad. <laughs> but each time I smell myself, I don't get any unpleasant scent. <laughs> I think you've grown used to your own scent. You've gone nose blind. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's a hard conversation for other people to have. So when they tell you something like that, uh, probably believe them. I've never seen anybody lie about this. <laughs> uh, uh, I feel like my family especially pressure me to change, but I honestly feel scrutinized and kind of bullied. <laughs> Uh, even my co-workers. I even got a phone call from my manager kindly telling me that I need to keep my hygiene up. Uh, but I do. <laughs> uh, oh, so the family is pressuring you. Do you think he actually lives alone or does he live with his parents and doesn't want to bring that up? He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a functioning member of society. I just choose not to shower. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, really. There's some sort of mental disconnect going on here. Like, you just deny the fact that you're dirty. Like, rub your forearms, bro, and, and collect some of that dead skin that I'm sure is gathering because you haven't scrubbed it in a while, you know? <laughs> He'll be like, oh, no, that's just dust. <laughs> Yeah, it's dust from your skin. I don't know, dude. 
it sounds to me like bro needs to talk to a therapist or something like that. Bullying him obviously is not the way to do it, but he definitely needs help in some way or shape or form. Uh, showering isn't the only way to be hygienic. <laughs> I shave, and I brush my teeth every day, and obviously I wash my hands when I need to. <laughs> uh, just uh, wash your hands even when you don't need to, okay? He's like, oh, I'm about to make a sandwich, but my hands don't look dirty. I guess it's fine. Bro, just for yourself, for everybody around you. <laughs> wash your freaking nasty mitts. Ugh. I just feel like they're nitpicking. Any advice on how to deal with this? And honestly, am I being unreasonable? Absolutely. This is <laughs> this is so not okay. And I want to sit you down and, and kind of teach you. Hey, son, you really do need to take a shower. Maybe not every day, but every two, three, maybe even four days, you could probably push it, depending on your glands and such, but... You want to get in the shower, man. Doesn't it feel good? Don't you like to get out of the shower and be like, Oh my god, I'm so fresh and clean and I smell nice. Is there some sort of trauma in this guy's past that makes him like afraid to get in the shower? Or is he just being stubborn at this point and he's like, People tell me to shower, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> uh, seems like a really weird hill to die on, my dude. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if bullying him is the way to get through to him, but it doesn't really sound like people are bullying him. Uh, his manager told him kindly. It's all about how he feels. He feels scrutinized. And it's within your power to change that. So why have you not changed that, right? <laughs> There's something really weird going on here. I can't put my finger on it. I'm not a professional. But if OP ever sees this, I hope that he will take a good look inside himself and at least try and figure out why that is. Just stop being disgusting. I believe in you. All right. <laughs> Ask regarding elf growth. <laughs> uh, yeah, boy, let's talk about elves. <laughs> Hi, I'm creating lore for my fantasy story. Well, some part is for erotica, but I need a biological lore. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, just some of it. It's not what the story's all about. Please help me out. I promise I'm not a weirdo. Uh, I see right through you, dude. <laughs> Can I ask some opinion? So, for the elf growth... For mental growth, I'm making their growth similar to human. But for the body growth, I'm thinking of slower growth. Oh my god, I know exactly where this is going and I hate it already! Stop! Stop! It's an adult mind in a child's body, so it's fine. Burn him. Burn him at the stake. I'm less than 10 sentences in and I am ready to go to war to get rid of this dude. Oh. First, in my story, I was thinking to make the elves average age about 300 years, or like three times human. For the toddler phase, five years of human age for elf, I think it'd be better to make them similar like human, instead of making them babies for 15 years. <laughs> so really, this dude is trying to just maximize the, <laughs> the window of childhood? Ugh. God, I hate it! For prepubescent, uh, 13 years or lower for human or lolly phase. Oh, God. God, somebody shoot him now. Just, just end him. Nothing good is going to come from the further existence of this human being. It's really hard for me to call him a human being. <laughs> I was thinking to make them differ from human at this phase. At first, I was thinking to make this longer, perhaps like to 50 years. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> uh, just stretch that lolly window as long as possible. God damn it, dude. Every time I, I find a, a nugget of hope for humanity, I come across something like this. Uh, but then I'm thinking to make them grow slowly, uh, from age 6 to 24. 
For adolescent, perhaps if we use the first, it'd be about age 25 to 50s, early adulthood, age 50 to 90, middle adulthood, 90 to 180, and finally late adulthood from 180 to 300, or less. Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. I don't want to hear anymore. I don't care. I know what this is all about. He's going to be like, oh, well, I'm 30 years old, so I obviously have to date this this elf child with the mind of a 30-year-old and the body of a freaking child. Ugh. I probably shouldn't have put this so early in the video. This is just rage bait. <laughs> heavy, heavy rage bait. It's working. In the lore, I make the female to be the more prominent gender <laughs> in terms of leadership. Oh, so he also loves a, a matriarchy. He's looking for those mama dom children, which <laughs> seems like an oxymoron, but okay. Go off, I guess. As female elves have better magical capabilities. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, touch grass, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I don't know, man. I love fantasy as much as the next person, but this is not something that I could ever get into. So, instead of a king, they were led by a queen. And for descendants, they use matrilineal. I make the male to be beautiful and more of like a femboy or trap for the lore. Yeah, for the lore. <laughs> uh... It's so obvious exactly what you're doing, dude. But you keep insisting it's for the lore. Please help me write this, you guys. It's for the lore. No, bro. <laughs> uh, take your terrible fetishes out of here. Go bury them somewhere where they can never be found again. You're more than welcome to have them, but don't drag them into r slash biology, which... <laughs> <laughs> He's asking elf questions in r slash biology. <laughs> Not a subreddit I visited, but I don't think that they're interested in elves, much less child elves or, or femboy elves. <laughs> uh, but remember, guys, it's all just for the lore. <laughs> God. Uh, this is so hateable. Really weird, really cringe, but I think hateable, above all else. Uh, I use the no beard lore for the male elf. <laughs> yeah, OP's providing all the beard that we need. <laughs> <laughs> so I think making them beautiful at an early age or early adulthood would be a better choice. And perhaps beautiful male when they're older, but uh, that's just another matter. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> Please make it stop. With the long teen and prepubescent age, about 25 years for teenage age, and 18 years for prepubescent, I think this could explain for the lore of Lolly Elf in Elf Art Illustration. <sighs> 18 years for prepubescent. So you can, you can be like, she's 18 years old, technically. Yeah, but she looks like a toddler, bro. I swear to God, man, the day I invent, like, a knife that can shoot through the internet and stab people in the face, I'm gonna be very rich. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy is the one that's going first. 100% no doubt about it. I'm gonna see this post in my nightmares, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> But, to be honest, do you think we should make the age range different? Like, making prepubescent age shorter? I don't care. I don't care about your weird fucking fetish! <laughs> <laughs> oh, also for ovulation for the female elf, what do you think is the best idea? Should we make them ovulate at the same rate as humans? Or make it longer, like, like three per month? Three per month. <laughs> I mean, elves have a longer lifespan, so shouldn't they ovulate less? No! No, 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 I'm not letting you suck me into your, your delusion. <laughs> your horrible lore. I say again, I do not care about any of this. Please stop. 
Give me your opinion or ideas regarding these. <laughs> Thank you. Note that I do not support child prawns or something like that. This is just a question for the lore creation in my story. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever you gotta tell yourself, I guess. <laughs> I don't think anybody's buying that shit. Uh, and protagonist and side characters are all in adulthood or, or teenage age for elves. <laughs> God, how can I demonstrate to you how little I care about any of this? The underlying theme enrages me. Very concerning. The blanket that you've draped over to try and cover it. The most boring thing in the world. Weird, uninteresting. Nobody cares about your f weird friggin' story, all right? <sighs> Regarding Lolly Body... Oh, God. <laughs> Stop! Stop now! It's just that some artists draw short stature elf with small breast. <laughs> That's what I meant by Lolly, not the elementary school child. God damn it, dude. God damn it! Why did you blank out the name? I want to go dig through the profile and get even angrier. Fuel my vitriol! You think anybody was fooled by this post? I'd like to see the comments on this post, honestly. Everybody in there calling him a pervert and he adds an edit like, No, no, let me, let me correct you on what I actually meant. The way you wrote it is how you actually meant it. And everybody can see what you meant because we're not all idiots like you. That's the thing about trying to deceive other people. You actually have to be smarter than them. And this monster, this predator, he absolutely is not. I hope all the worst things in the world for you, OP. Nobody else but you. I hope he got banned or something. This is, this is horrible. Put this guy on a freaking watch list, man. Ugh, I can't dwell on it any longer or, or I'm gonna just end the video here. <laughs> <laughs> this was heavy, to say the least. How 90 Day Fiance star Stephanie Maddo ended up hospitalized after eating too many beans to sell her farts. <laughs> they got that Leonardo DiCaprio pic where he's supposed to be sipping some wine, but it says a fart in a jar, and he's got a fedora on. <laughs> <laughs> Dudes must be down bad to have to buy farts in a jar or, or gamer girl bathwater. Fellas, stop it. <laughs> we can't encourage stuff like this. Even if it's, if it's for the meme or, or for the lulls, stop it. Because the truth is, women, they're out there hurting themselves to give you what you so desperately desire. Look at poor Stephanie Maddo. Got a colon full of beans. <laughs> <laughs> she can't stop pooping. She had to go to the hospital. <laughs> she kept spray painting the inside of the jars. <laughs> uh, this is supposed to be gas only. This isn't what I paid for. Poop? <laughs> and how about old Belle Delphine? You know, she took so many baths that she dissolved. And <laughs> we never saw her again. <laughs> She's off the internet completely because she got washed down the drain. Think about the effects that your consumption might have on other people, alright? That's your PSA for the day. <laughs> uh, this is just some next level ridiculousness going on. Like a decade or two ago, you think any of this would have happened? No, <laughs> definitely not. And it's horrifying to think about. We as humans, yes, we won the evolutionary arms race, but then at the end, we lost it. <laughs> Just so completely. I don't know, man. I guess good for her and, and her hustle, you know, but fellas, what the hell? <laughs> One day I'll reach the point where I can sell my bodily fluids and I won't do it. Unless I need to, to get that new Lamborghini. <laughs> I, I kind of do, you know, understand where she's coming from. I don't understand where these dudes is coming from, but it takes all type to move the world, I guess. 
either nobody's really wrong here or, or everybody's really wrong here. And I can't decide which is which. <laughs> so we're just going to move on. Are men okay? Bruh, we haven't been okay for a long time. <laughs> but what are you talking about specifically? Uh, these are your birthing years. <laughs> Why are you playing Animal Crossing? <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to do anything. While you're pregnant, you lay in the bed and stare at the wall. Don't you dare play a video game. <laughs> uh, holy shit, man. YouTube comments out here feeling entitled to other people's uteruses. <laughs> uh, why is your uterus not full? How could this happen? <laughs> Let me ask you this, anonymous YouTube commenter. How many kids do you have? None. <laughs> I'll put money on none. Because the second you come out with a line like that... <laughs> everybody is running far away from you. Women and men included. <laughs> I cannot be associated with a take like this. Take that ring out of your nose and find yourself a man to explode inside you deep. Oh, oh, my skin. <laughs> it's like my skin is crawling off of my body. Why would you write that? Why would you make me read that? <laughs> oh. I apologize on behalf of my gender, I guess. <laughs> uh, and have IRL baby crossing. <laughs> Hope this helped. It did not help. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it made her uterus shrivel up. My balls just became completely inert. This comment has the power of sterilizing people. Instead of having uh, your partner go in and get their tubes tied or whatever, just show them this comment. <laughs> Easy fix. <laughs> your body will reject it so hard. IRL baby crossing, bro. It's a horrible pun. <laughs> it's like your best attempt to be clever and it's horrible. <laughs> baby crossing is not a good time. You can't just walk away from it anytime you want. I know you probably don't know a goddamn thing about that. Probably never will. Because <laughs> like I said, the mere presence of this man makes people infertile. <laughs> <laughs> but you can take it from me that um, baby crossing is the ride that never ends. And you probably shouldn't take that ride unless you know that you're ready. And on top of that, even if you think you're ready, you're not actually ready. <laughs> <laughs> it is the most difficult thing in the world, bar none. How can you compare it to one of the most casual Nintendo games out there? <laughs> Having a baby is doom and gloom edge max death grind. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, this guy, he never gonna have to worry about that. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> This was uh, cross-posted from Cringetopia. Dude opening up his little apartment and stuff. And he's like, oh, I'm home, waifus. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Can you say Uncanny Valley? <laughs> <laughs> she grabs the hand and like drags him across the room. I hate it when my toddler does that, okay? How's I gonna feel if a robot does it? Here's... The menu, what would you like us to cook with our robot hands? They accidentally like cut off their fingers and put it into the stew. <laughs> they can't even feel it. He rings his little bell, robot wife who's like, what do you need? Uh, Master Coon Senpai? <laughs> uh, you wanna have power over something, get a dog, all right? <laughs> oh, it's like a restaurant, I guess. It's not his apartment. Or is he, like, showing her the coffee that she should make? 
She's going to bring him a cold beardy. That's really all she can do. You think this thing actually has the dexterity to cook? She can't even hold a beer with one hand. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, thanks so much. Please leave me alone. Go stand in the corner and never look at me again. I know some people might be like, oh, it's kind of cute, Red X. No, it's really not. <laughs> it's uncomfortable, to say the least. I don't even like this thing, ironically, if I'm quite honest. I kicked this bitch down the stairs. <laughs> I hate humanoid robots. Come at me, Skynet. <laughs> <laughs> These things do nothing but creep me out and on top of that, they're they're totally useless. She can barely deliver a can. <laughs> I'm supposed to be impressed that you handed me a menu? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> on top of that, these things, they probably stink of coom. Let's be honest about that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know how to change their own clothes. Do you gotta charge them? How does this work? No, actually, don't tell me because I, I hate it and I would never buy one. Like one of those real dolls? Okay, maybe I get it kind of, but this thing's just gonna piss me off. It's gonna get in my way all the time. Oh, I'm standing right here in the doorway. I'm like, great, move. <laughs> I'd like to walk through my house unimpeded without what is essentially a, a moving piece of fucking furniture following me around. <laughs> I'm good on all of this. Is this why Japan's birth rates are so low? <laughs> it has to be, right? <laughs> God damn it, dude. We are all doomed. Like I said, we won the evolutionary arms race, but in the end, we couldn't defeat ourselves. Or something like that. <laughs> it's all over but the crying now, I guess. So buy a robot anime girl if you want. I can't tell you how to live. I just know that this, this is not for me. <laughs> On top of being creepy, it would just piss me off. <laughs> Uh-oh, weirdo hopping in the Reddit DMs. Here we go. This weirdo is active in r slash stop drinking r slash interesting as f, and r slash politics. Wow, what a classy gentleman who is also an alcoholic. <laughs> Are you just upset that a man understands the female reductive system? <laughs> female reductive system. <laughs> That's what the neckbeard uses. Any way that they can reduce females. <laughs> <laughs> so they feel small enough to actually date said beard. That's, it's kind of like the dentist system. <laughs> <laughs> the female reproductive system better than you? <laughs> <laughs> I say again, uh, how many kids you got, doc? <laughs> <laughs> Because I can tell you, in the time you're watching reality TV and reading shallow magazines, I'm reading about topics that interest me. While you studied reality TV, I studied the fallopian tube. <laughs> <laughs> Are you real right now? <laughs> uh, oh my god. It, it is real. I mean, dude only has 68 karma, but that's probably for a good reason. <laughs> he has his head so far up his own ass. I'm fascinated. At the end of the day, to anyone that reads our exchange, it becomes clear who is educated and who isn't. Yeah, I'm sure it does. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy your continued existence in your lower class bubble. Yeah, this guy knows all about class. I feel like I won that argument. That's why I hopped into the Reddit DMs. <laughs> uh, get a hobby. Aside from drinking, because apparently you are trying to stop drinking. He really thinks like r slash interesting is fucking and politics. <laughs> count as reading about topics that interest him. 
<laughs> Reddit is a cesspool for the mind, okay? You don't go here to edify yourself. How about you go read some peer-reviewed papers? Because I'm sure if you felt more secure within yourself, then you wouldn't feel the need to hop into the DMs and insult the people that you argue with online, right? <laughs> if you were secure within yourself, you'd walk away and be like, heh, whatever. <laughs> Agree to disagree. But he seems just incapable of doing that. Are, are you drunk right now? Is that why you're doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to rip on uh, him for drinking or whatever. It's good that he's trying to stop drinking, honestly. But aside from his delusions of grandeur, it's all I have to go on. Why don't you upload a nice profile picture, son? <laughs> then we can start the real burns. Eh, but I don't care enough to go and, and look up this dude. All I gotta say is, hey, try and do better, and I'll see you later. But probably not, though. <laughs> A man walking down the road, he sees two people kiss, and he's like, Hey, you listen up! And then he looks at his reflection in a pond, and he's like, If someone else's happiness makes you unhappy, the problem is solely with you. God, that's a wholesome neck beard. <laughs> okay, you can be upset at the people kissing, as long as you realize that that is your shortcoming, not theirs. I bet this guy's name is Roger Elliot. See, because he's the flip reverse of Elliot Roger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I do like the twist in this comic. I should probably do some, like, webcomic stuff. This is, like, a level of drawing that I could get with. Would you guys like to see a Red X webcomic? I'm pretty sure we could do that in our, in our spare time. It would probably be really weird and absurdist, but... Yeah, now I'm rolling the idea around. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Could be cool, but congratulations to you, uh, wholesome neckbeard, Roger Elliot, for, uh, <laughs> being able to have some quite literal self-reflection in this comic. Those two people on the bench get to keep kissing and enjoy themselves, and you get to look inside and, and try to figure out how to become a better person. How to not let that affect you on a personal level. It's really a beautiful thing. I like the twist. Shouts out to Chili K or Killick, I guess. C H I L I K. Maybe I look up some old day comics after this. See how it goes. Get inspired. Steal some jokes. No, not that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, four. Pick a few weird habits and repeat them constantly. The Joker has a lot of weird tics, like licking his lips constantly. When you're talking, emphasize certain things by pausing and licking your lips before finishing the sentence. You also could smile oddly at the wrong times. I like how I transform more into the Joker as the most went on. <laughs> he doesn't like that. Not. Uh, is this like how to pick up women as the Joker? Is this like a completely out of context? It doesn't really matter. WikiHow is, is not the place to go to learn how to function in relationships. We should probably dig into some of those articles because those are some trash fires. <laughs> why confine ourselves to just Reddit? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why anybody would want a WikiHow article on like how to play as the Joker. Just watch the movie. <laughs> Emulate what you see. Monkey see, monkey do, right? But you know they're gonna go out there and just like try way too hard. It kind of the nature of the beast as far as uh, Deadpool fanboys, Joker fanboys, really a lot of Marvel stuff these days. <laughs> <laughs> and I know Joker's from DC, just... Uh, I'm not really in the comics. Not a comic guy, not an anime guy. <laughs> Tabletop and, and video games. That's what I do. And if you like the Joker, that's fine. Just don't be a tryhard about it. Don't walk around trying to emulate him in public. <laughs> For God's sake. Whoa. Awesome. Let's put a smile on that face. <laughs> that's probably the worst thing you could do. I don't think this is like a pickup article or anything. But it is weird. <laughs> it definitely gives a vibe that I don't like necessarily. But whatever, to each their own, I do suppose. Moving on.
<laughs> Do not watch this. Yeah, it looks super scary, bro. They got like a big red bear in that movie. Uh, Pixar movie turning red. Disgusting, creepy things revealed. Six minute video. Freaking 60,000 views. I know exactly what this guy's doing. And guess what? He did it again. <laughs> A Pixar movie turning red. Parents are angry. Film pushes horrible messages. Get woke, go broke. <laughs> Josiah rises. Oh, Josiah. Trying to make yourself feel like a real man with your big old beard when really you're just a fat YouTube guy. Embrace who you are. <laughs> Remember, Simba, <laughs> who you are. I think that this dude is just trying to get the rage clicks. You know what I'm saying? It's like that one game designer. I think he designed like Gears of War or, or some other game that leads you around by the dick, basically. And he's playing Metroid Dread. He's like, Ugh, I can't figure this game out. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's hidden passages. You have to shoot things. And he's like, oh, well, who could ever figure that out? Apparently everybody but you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and the weirdest part is, I guess not really weird, he did stick to his guns because it was bringing in unprecedented amount of traffic to his channel. And that is exactly what Josiah is doing as well. He couldn't even stretch these things out to eight minutes to hit the, the mid-roll ad section. I wonder how many things he actually says in the video. I'm not gonna go over there and, and give him a click because I don't want to be part of the problem. I don't want to encourage this behavior. <laughs> but it, it's just ridiculous. We've totally pirated, I mean, watch this movie, and uh, <laughs> my daughter enjoys it. She is able to identify it with the, the main character who's a young Asian girl because she herself is a young, like, prepubescent Asian girl. It talks about some things that are hard to discuss. Like, you know, having PMS, which is something that I don't understand at all. It offers me a new perspective. Apparently, the only thing that it offered to Josiah was disgusting and creepy. <laughs> uh, yeah, does, does the human experience of 50% of the population on Earth, <laughs> that's disgusting and creepy to you? You're just never going to get it. Look at this dude's face. Tries so hard to be a lumberjack. He's trying as hard as he can not to embrace the female experience in any kind of way because deep down he knows that he's like almost like a pseudo man, right? A soft YouTube boy that makes YouTube videos <laughs> in order to put food on the table. And you want me to be real? I get it. <laughs> but the sooner you just kind of embrace it, come to terms with it, be like, yeah, so what? This is who I am and I don't really care the sooner you have to stop trying so hard to be like, oh, look at this. It talks about vaginas. <laughs> Isn't that gross? No, dude. <laughs> it's really not. It's a conversation that adults can have and that children really need to have. It's not a great movie or anything like that. <laughs> I didn't go, wow, I'm going to rewatch this one. But it was okay. It, it Obviously, my daughter enjoyed it, and I am glad that we sat down to watch it. We all know Josiah doesn't have kids. He just watches children's movies for YouTube. <laughs> to, to complain about them on YouTube. <laughs> and Josiah never will have kids because he's scared that if he gets close to a vagina, he will literally turn into one. <laughs> Uh, I do get the rage bait thing, but I don't know. If some heat comes back on you, you can't really be surprised by that. Honestly, I hope I make Josiah mad enough to do a video on Red X. And he'll be like, look at this guy. He laughs too much. He's not even that funny. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the whole video. That's all the points he made. Couldn't even get it to 10 minutes. <laughs> Sad, bro. <laughs> all right, but good luck out there. I'll see you in the funny paper, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Dear society, you made it clear that you don't care about men. So I'm going to stop caring about you. And then society was like, oh, no, what are we going to do now? <laughs> uh, I don't think society gives a shit what you think. <laughs>
Every relationship goes both ways. You made it clear that men are only entitled to the bare minimum under the law. <laughs> well, that's totally fine. I'm only going to do as much for society as I need to to stay out of prison. You think society's reading this? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you writing it this way? Just to get it off your chest? If you had something uh, sentient that could actually respond to you, or could even just be observed on a smaller scale than just saying, I don't know, society. <laughs> it might make what you're saying a little bit more poignant, you know? <laughs> Volunteering? <laughs> are you joking? Would I be arrested if I don't volunteer? Then no. Contributing to community? Would I be arrested? Then no. Helping out strangers on the road? Wait, I seem to remember reading men getting arrested after helping, so huh, doubly no. <laughs> Any kind of generosity? Would I be arrested if I'm not generous? Then no. That's it. You're not wrong. I'm not mad. It's simply a two-way relationship. I will do the bare minimum, but not one bit more. A thousand upvotes, dude. Three silver awards, one gold award. I think the last one is a wholesome award or something like that. So there are days that I definitely agree with this sentiment as well, unfortunately. But the truth is that this is not the answer. To just lay down and die and be like, well, society doesn't care, so I don't care. Well, how about you You double your efforts, you know? Start caring and try and improve society in any way you can. Because it's the type of people that lay down, refuse to help if, if anything is not offered to them in exchange for doing so, that are sort of the reason that society has failed as it has in the first place. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to even address the argument that he's making here because he doesn't point out any of the things that uh, society does that prove that they don't care about men or whatever. He's just saying what he won't do. <laughs> Which doesn't even form a full argument. Why do you feel entitled to people uh, caring about you? Just on the basis of your gender? Why not go out, do some things in the community, and I guarantee at that point people would start to care about you. They'd be like, hey, that's the guy that runs the community garden. We got three tomatoes out of there. <laughs> Had to split it between 60 people, but that one little nibble was real good. <laughs> this is the type of guy that doesn't put his shopping cart away. He just leaves it in the parking lot. AKA the lowest form of humanity. You're participating in society whether you like it or not. If this is somehow your excuse to do the bare minimum, you haven't even provided an excuse. You're just like, oh, this is a given. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything anymore. It seems like a really bad way to live your life. That's all I'm going to say. All right, last post for the day. <laughs> we got to end on a banger. Literally. Hey, Ohio. <laughs> You've won, girls. There's nothing left for me to p shame or, or prove replaceable or mediocre. That title is horrible. <laughs> uh, welcome to r slash sad. I'm too depressed to grammar. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, irreplaceable. Oh, yeah. That, that fixes the whole title, doesn't it? <laughs> what a tragedy it is. To be born with a small or average penis. <laughs> oh, God! Uh, alrighty. <laughs> How your words to express the sadness will be tossed away by people. Not even sympathy. Just met with pushing back at your own emotions. <laughs> uh, well... I think that's also how I would deal with a situation like this. I'd be like, well, have you gotten any complaints or is this all perhaps just in your head? If I sympathize, then I'm reinforcing those negative thoughts in you. But no, it's my job to push those thoughts out of your head or help you to do that. Dude would walk up to me and be like, <laughs> I got a small wang. And I'd be like, I'm sure that's not true. 
Or would you rather I just be like, yeah, sucks, bro. <laughs> it totally sucks, dude. I can't imagine what that's like. My dong is dinosauric. <laughs> 5.7 inch penis. I didn't ask to be born at all. <laughs> uh, you have invested your entire existence into this fleshy little nerve filled globule that hangs off the front of your crotch. Why? <laughs> uh, there is so much more about you. I am sure of that. I don't gloat when I wake up. The breakups of being told we're just not a good match right after sex. The disinterest in my penis. <laughs> uh, you're really expecting people to be just hypnotized? Wow, I am so fascinated by that nerve filled globule of flesh hanging off the front of your crotch. <laughs> uh, Come on, dude. There is so much more to life. Honestly, 5.7? That's average, I'm pretty sure. Getting told that we're not a good match might not be anything about the size. It might be about how you use it, you know? And then you can open up a conversation, ask a question, be like, well, how could I please you better, you know? If you're really interested in maintaining the relationship, then yeah, you have to communicate. Duh. Sliding it all in and... It barely changes the mood of my lover. The sex is humiliating for me. I mean, chicks need a bit of foreplay. <laughs> what do you expect to just shove it in there and everything's all magically amped up? Nah, dude. <laughs> you gotta work it up a little bit. You know, bite a neck or something like that. Stick your tongue in the rear. Suck her toes. Get wild with it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be a fun and positive experience for both of you. Uh, but I assume he's just maybe young, inexperienced, something like that. And he's just like, oh, I put it in. I don't know why it didn't get turned up to 11. Because all you did is put it in. <laughs> it's not a magic wand, all right? <laughs> you gotta work the magic yourself with your whole body. That is how you get the good good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't do these long strokes and wild positions. I thrust forward and I'm quickly all in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this dude's terrible. I'm telling you, man, it's not about the size. Your, your whole vibe, your mojo, your tactics, they're all wrong. And maybe that ain't completely your fault, but you do need to open up the conversation and ask the hard question. What can I do better? How can I make this experience nicer for you? A reverse cowgirl has traumatized me with multiple girls. It's so small, it just pops out. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's mushy, bro. <laughs> If you're really reaching, like, your max, you know, I, I don't think it'll pop out. And I would bet money that this dude is not reaching his max because he's obviously nervous about the experience. Probably also watches some pornography, that's why he's like, oh, it's not big enough. <laughs> don't compare yourself to people who do it for a living, alright? <laughs> Just get in there, have a good time. Hopefully also make it so that she has a good time. This is like a, a next level insecurity, and it does make me feel bad. I kind of want to gas this dude up, give him some tips, and be like, all right, now go get him, tiger. <laughs> it, it doesn't look sexy seeing a mediocre penis hump a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Stop calling your penis mediocre, bro. You only get one, all right? <laughs> you better learn how to love it and how to wield it. <laughs> she knows it. I knows it. Of course, I'll eat her out as long as she wants, but how long is that gonna be okay? Ten years of dating a guy with a small dick? <laughs> it's her right to go on and try and be happy. To feel excited, wild sex that I could never do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure this is going to turn into a cuckolding post, like, right around the corner. <laughs> Jesus, man. Where is your self-confidence? If you're still not able to please her in 10 years, uh, you got bigger problems. It's a communication issue, like, 90% of the time, okay? Sometimes the other 10% people just aren't physically compatible. You're right, too big, too small, whatever, move on. But the other 90%, <laughs> the vast majority, you just need to talk about what you like, what she likes. Just have a really open and honest conversations about your expectations when it comes to sex. It's not that hard. <laughs> Once you start, you, you, you won't want to stop. But I don't know, I guess let's just watch this dude beat himself up some more. <laughs> It's pathetic and unwise of me to expect a lifetime of monogamy with a woman. <laughs> I told you this. <laughs> I told you where this is going. Cuck. <laughs> the world is a woman's oyster. Men are always lined up to show off and flex for you. <laughs> Even if it only be for a hookup. At least someone out there will join you in bed. With you holding all the cards. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you put women on like this pedestal. And that's not where women even want to be most of the time. They're looking for an equal footing. That's it. How do you expect anybody to respect you if you can't even respect yourself? <laughs> Just go out there and act pathetic and wormy and hope that somebody will hop into bed with you out of pity? It ain't the way, bro. <laughs> you need to take a serious look inside. I've been celibate for the past two plus years after my ex told me she dreamed of banging my friends. An older woman looking at my penis and saying it's the smallest one she's ever seen. <laughs> I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta pregame it a little bit. Warm it up before you take the pants off. <laughs> yeah. And other instances as well as trauma after trauma of being told that I'm not enough. Hearing jokes of small penis and being a weaker girly man compared to hung guys. Bro, this is... <laughs> this is really hard to digest. I'll tell you straight up, I think I've talked about it before, but my first experience losing my virginity, that was horrible. Absolutely the most terrible thing that I've ever experienced. <laughs> I was also humiliated. But then I met some other girls who could appreciate me for me, and we had conversations about what they liked or what I liked, and yeah, found ourselves to be more compatible. I guess it could have been, you know, because it was the first time and all. Maybe the first couple of times. But yeah. <laughs> Once you start talking, and therefore learning how to wield the tools that you've got, I think you're gonna do a lot better. I am an undesirable... <laughs> God. A pathetic sob story of a man. Every girl is glad to no longer have to accommodate a weenie when she finds a hung man to play with. <laughs> <laughs> Size queens, I guess. Why are you why are you dating size queens like this? 5.7? You good, bro! Unless you're lying on the internet. <laughs> All you really gotta do is worry about the motion of the ocean. Going out, everyone is glad there are females. Males? Ugh. It's like we're in excess. With barely any demand. We have to initiate and prove and maintain our relevancy with a girl. As where a girl need only continue to exist for herself to be considered a wonder of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know why that is? Why women are more particular and men less so? It's because of the investment that is required in reproduction, alright? Man, shoot his shot, he could move on tomorrow. Woman, potentially stuck with that child for not just nine months, but the rest of her life. <laughs> so yes, she has to be selective. I guarantee you the population is 50-50, but you are correct that men have to compete because evolution. 
And there's nothing wrong with that. Get out there, maybe win a couple of times, for God's sake, and you'll start to feel better about yourself. <laughs> Are you winning, son? <laughs> Are you winning, son? <laughs> I'm celibate. Not out of spite, but to spare myself. And girls who have 300 plus Tinder matches lined up, ready to replace me. Out fuck me. <laughs> Uh, compare me to and whatever else can be held against me. Bro, you're on Tinder? <laughs> this dude on Tinder, not knowing about the motion of the ocean, having his ego bruised for no reason at all. Is it because you have a hard time meeting people face to face? Give it a try. Go meet a chick who isn't on Tinder. Or at least a, a normal chick that's on Tinder. <laughs> the ones who are DTF so quick, don't bother with that, bro. You're gonna be throwing a hot dog down a hallway, you know what I'm saying? She's out there looking for anacondas. And you know you only got like a boa constrictor, so... <laughs> Go find somebody who likes boa constrictors, you know what I'm saying? Just be grateful you ain't got a garter snake, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, even more so knowing that this adds to the stress and pressure and the failure to get or stay erect, which I can't physiologically control much, will decimate my image as a suave, hot, great guy into the boy who couldn't make his pee-pee work. <laughs> uh... Oh, God, bro. You're in your own head so hard. And I get it, honestly. But honestly, it is time to let that go. You know what I mean? You just gotta be you. Be a person having fun. Stop getting in your own way. Also, it really helps if you uh, don't watch any more pornos. <laughs> then your body will leap at the chance. You'll be like, oh, hell yeah. Here we go. <laughs> But if you're, uh, you know, filling up the coom sock, then how can you expect your body to be like, oh yeah, here, here we go again, whatever. I don't actually have to perform because we get it either way when we're at home, right? Your body needs training. Have you been helping your body with the training? I have so much advice to give. <laughs> I don't know if any of it will help, but yeah, this is not a really good reason to be sad. The world is yours, ladies, whether you realize it or not. As for myself, a life of tormentful competition awaits me at every turn. At 31, I've grown exhausted. You win, ladies. I concede. <laughs> uh, uh, this is a handful. <laughs> In this game where I was always a losing man... Enjoy your time here. You'll always have an ample surplus of males to choose from. Whom would simp for you? <laughs> Whom would simp for you? <laughs> Thou hast seen it. <laughs> I sit at home, waiting to feed scraps to the rats who come to my patio. Fate is so utterly violent and pitiless for men like myself. And then Anonymous comes and says, Hey, this is going at r slash just neckbeard things. <laughs> Shut up. You're not helping. <laughs> this dude is obviously having a really hard time. And you're like, hey, hey. Which fair, I had a couple laughs at his expense. But overall, he doesn't seem like a terrible person. He does want to get better, you know. I think what he needs is some straightforward advice, and, and that's what I tried to offer him throughout the post. Whether it will work or not, I'm quite unsure, but I have hope at the very least. You can definitely do it. It is all within your hands. <laughs> yeah, uh, you gotta break up with Paul Mala Henderson. Go your own separate ways. And then you'll find that this body dysmorphia and these erection problems, uh, they fade away. It really is like a magic pill. It starts out hard, but it, it gets a lot easier as you go. So I wish you luck on your journey. Whether you do decide to take my advice or not, 
And yeah, I mean, this dude didn't seem really neckbeardy until, I mean, I guess the, the first and last paragraphs. It's a, it's a neckbeard sandwich. <laughs> so yeah, maybe it does belong in just neckbeard things, but I don't think you needed to tell him that you were going to post it there. That is not being a helper. Uh, but anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. It did end on kind of a somber note, but we had some good laughs in the first little bit. I guess we'll see how it works, what the comments think. Maybe share it around if you uh, did enjoy this episode in some type of way. Check out the links in the description, of course. Twitter, Discord, Facebook. Oh, and Twitch. Twitch is a new thing that I'm doing. So go check me out over there, if you would be so kind. We also got the usual plugs, playlist, podcast. You know what to do. Oh, and my Patreon, too. Uh, can't forget them. Gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, generous people that they are. I'd like to thank them, Jerry, Jerry, much as I do every episode. Uh, so thank you. Classy Trash Panda, Robert Waits, Camille Sarah, Roxanne Wolf, Sim, Jerry, Conrad Indy, Mawire, Jerry. Hey, yo, Red Exo, tell Landlord Jerry that I'm a big fan of pasta. Go ahead, send Tommy Lasagna. Oh, you want to mess with Tommy Lasagna? I'll tell you. <laughs> he gonna mash you up. Captain Cloud, Jerry, Destiny Piper, Aaron Jerry, Twisted Child, Broken Logic, Esteban, Four Old Lang Sign. I rarely feels unwanted, but keeps on fighting anyways. Keep doing it. You can make it. Silent Revolver, the original Jerry, Jerry, Tick Jerry. Yeah, that's a new one. Uh, or just change the name. <laughs> Jerry's Kitsune Satori, a Jerry of Jubilee, Jubilee Jerry's, a Justy Jargonian Jerry, nailed it. Aspen XO, Assassin Puck Jerry, Bang Bang, Aurora Wildheart, Grizzly, Baby Jerry, Bailey Joy, Bearded Jerry, Bitch Gremlin, Blade the Hero, Blitwood Jerry, Captain Jerry, Commander J Tank, Confederate Duke, going to the Ukraine, Dennis Dayton, Dinosaur Nightly, Supposed Wife, Dr. Larks, Emergent Jewel, East Bar 50, Frozen Over Studios, Fire Rick, Gypsy, Hadrian VR. Hey, beautiful Tinder Jerry here, you left me all red after I showed you my mall katana. Was it too small? <laughs> uh, mall ninja shit? <laughs> I can't help falling in love with Jerry. I'm Slim Jerry, I'm Slim Jerry, you're the Slim Jerry, I'm just imitating Irish Pirate. The Jerry's are all we've after me, lucky charms. <laughs> you're ready to jam. Itchy nuts, just scratch it, bro. A pimp named Jay Chris, JM Coon, Jerry Blacktail, Jerry Nice, Jerry Evil, Jerry the Outlaw of the Truck of Hong Kong, John Hero, John Jerry, Jingle Hammer Schmidt, KJW, Kakao, Crewy, Landlord Jerry. These rent collection escapades are getting more expensive than the rooms, mainly to increase my rate. <laughs> Everybody else is. <laughs> Legitimate Girth, Miss Monday, Lord Jerry, like and subscribe. <laughs> Milady Dix, Melgar the Destroyer, Metro Factor. I'm getting nervous. I'm gonna have to sell my red XTs if 10 coins and bottles don't stop dropping. Imagine if I mint all of the thumbnails as NFTs, huh? <laughs> Needless King 89, Nightmare Jerry, or Game Steve, hit Jerry with a bag of marbles after catching a cheat with Tom, Paragon Soul, Phantom of the Pines, Princess Jerrykins and Jerry Beth, Queens, Quaaludes and Quagmires, Giggity, Ramsay Lacrimates, Rose Jerry Miller, TSM Kirby, Sorita the Lolita, Saucy Octopus, Sa Scarlet's Coven, Sergeant Gaycock, Gaycock, oh god, don't do that. Sergeant Gaycock, a bringer of the law, <laughs> Silo Wimps, Stephanie Gunther, Sign Up the Boomstick, Brilliant Tobago, Tapioca Blue, Tango Fair, Tenth Monster, the Italian Greyhound Dino, the Little Two, the Chinese Boy. Wow, it's so small. <laughs> but the Marble Jerry, no substitutions. Okay, maybe one substitution. Cause they will all go away one time. But that's it for reals. Uh, the Watcher Fleski, trying to find the marble, get back to the real world. Uh, you probably don't want to blow into that balloon knot. <laughs> that balloon knot blows back. <laughs> Unbusy B, B3 Prime, Vanguard Angel, Viking Jerry, Wiki Tack, Will Max, Zephyr the Gargoyle, or Clay. A neckbeard's blocking my path. I'll deal with it. Comrade Mooney, Kira, not another Jerry, Red Wind, Naga Viper, Side Jerry, the Side Board, Saints Blessing, Third Stuff, One Leg Jerry's beating neckbeards with the fake leg. Uh, normal Jerry, I haven't seen Lionel Jerry for a while, but that's a ghost who looks just like him. Anyone good with exorcism? Just come ask Vladimir. Okay, I'm gonna stop that voice now. Hunter of Jerry's the Barrow Rolling Stacy. It's Tom. Because Tom and Jerry never get along. Admiral T Tank Emmer Alder, another stupid hipster. A Tommy Jerry Zilla, Babsy Coon, Bartender Kelly, Broken Spine Horse Radish, Nirishal Different Jerry, that's Cake Jerry. California Jerry Girl, Chevron Seven Lock, Corporal Admiral Princess Furry, Wary Wary, Blue Jerry, something like that. Crypt Diddy's <laughs> the Crazy, SDI, aka SDI Jerry, the Fawn Jerry, creator of colorful click clacks, Dopamine Dane Jerryus, Electrical Clinic. First rule of Red X Inc. Wash your hands. Second rule is do not talk about cutting boards. You can also wash the cutting board while you wash your hands. Never mind. Go to Alba. <laughs> God damn it. He cannot. Holy Mary Jerry, Janet Jerry, Teddy Coins Fit Workout. So I'm headed to Russia for that Putin bounty. Oh yeah, well I'm headed to Canada for that Poutine. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Geralt of Rivia. Jerry and Tom versus Happy New Year's Weirby Apocalypse. Jerry the Sussy Baca. Jerry's mom has got it going on. Check out the mustache on Jerry Old Rivera. <laughs> Jerry Roxas. Jerry role playing game. Judge Jerry and Executioner. King Tails. Kid Marvelous. King Tom. Kids again. Life of Guardian. Little Air Woods. Lucia Lovecraft. M -M Machia. CD. Maybe next time Milford get Miss Duchess. Not Invisible Angel. Patreon has more than one Royal Jerry. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Raptor Art. She's my Jerry Pie. Could you do with a big surprise? I just throw it in there. Doesn't actually say that anymore, but, but I still want to sing the whole thing sometimes. <laughs> Snary, that's Nom Jerry. Uh, Spooky the Rogue. Spooky Scary Jerry Tom is relevant all year round. <laughs> Techno Dubs. The original Jerry. He's not. Don't listen. The X card. <laughs> To Infinite Jerry and beyond, we on the way to Infinite Jerry. Unfortunate Jerry is screaming at Nookie's latest magical girl transformation. They can stop! <laughs> I have no power here. Tom promised Jerry Swiss. Oh, bad Jerry, Tommy, good boy, those Swiss, just facts, please, go ahead and look it up. Am I, I mean, another Red X video. Also, thank you to my $1 patrons, beautiful people that they are. Truly, you have blessed me this month, my lovely Jerry's and not Jerry's alike. I did send out the patron email just recently, so uh, go ahead and get back to me based on your tier. Let me know what you would like to see. We got all kinds of offers over there. Pick a video or subreddit, pick a... Um, Pick a voice line, uh, <laughs> you know, voice calls, stuff like that. So I hope that you will redeem it because I am here at, at your service. You know, if anybody else would like to sign up on the Patreon, I would be massively grateful. But if you can't do it right now, don't sweat it
And until then, bye-bye.